Hello friends and welcome to Global Defense. In today's episode we are going to discuss that the US says that the F-16s will arrive in Ukraine towards the end of the year. This also shows the US commitment towards the war in Ukraine and US massive support towards the Ukraine. The comment signals that the Biden administration is feeling a new sense of urgency to deliver the war planes as quickly as possible. So the US National Security Council spokesperson said that the F-16 will get there probably towards the end of the year. Beside that, the National Security Advisor also commented on the Fox News that the US is moving rapidly to get the F-16s to the Ukraine. He said that we are pushing as fast as possible to send these F-16s to the Ukraine. The Ukrainians have been pleading for modern fighter jets to help deter the Russian invaders for more than a year. President Joe Biden in May lent U.S. support to an international effort to train Ukrainian pilots on F-16, but the U.S. has yet to formally approve the training program that is required under the export restrictions. Beside that, 11 nations led by Denmark and the Netherlands has taken early steps to make the training program a reality. European officials said last year that they hope to begin the training in Denmark in August, and training center will also be set up in Romania. The UK, in the meantime, will soon start English language instruction for Ukrainian pilots. F-16 manufacturer Lockheed Martin plans to supervise pilots training through a subcontractor. However, countries have been resistant to commit to sending F-16s from their own fleets to the battlefield after training concludes. Norway has plans to send two trainer aircraft for Ukrainians to learn on. That is according to Norwegian defense officials. Beside that, the U.S. also is finalizing plans to deliver the jets and train Ukrainian pilots. This was said by the U.S. officials who, like the Norwegian officials, was granted anonymity to speak about a sensitive technology transfer. The U.S. is working to get Ukraine their 16s as quickly as possible, but it will take some time, the officials added. The timeline was not given by the national security advisors that is laid out is faster than the Ukrainian officials have predicted. It signals a new sense of urgency. The foreign minister of Ukraine said in July 12th interview that he expects the first F-16 will fly in the Ukraine skies by the end of the first quarter of 2024. Beside that, the U.S. also stressed that the president had promised to meet whatever timelines our European partners needs. Besides that, they also said that the main roadblock was that the European partners needed a few more weeks to create the necessary training infrastructure. But again, the officials in the US didn't specify the timeline for the training or delivery of the F-16 to the Ukrainian. The Ukrainian president kept on pressing his Western partners to deliver the jets as soon as possible during the NATO defense summit. In Lithuania last week, he blamed his colleagues for what he characterized as a delay in sending the aircraft. He said that we have agreed, we have pressed, and we have a coalition of countries that are ready to start training for Ukrainian pilots, but there is no schedule for training missions, and they are delaying it. I don't know why they are doing this, he said in the statement. But as we have seen that the Ukraine has shown a great resistance, so Ukraine can stretch this war at the end of this year, and with the help of F-16s, they can further strengthen their air defenses. So friends, this was about today's podcast. I hope you liked today's podcast. Do inform us about your valuable opinion in the comment box, and thank you for listening.